Good morning. In this video, I would like to show you um, the main purpose of the video handler script, which is to um, convert videos um, with the main purpose to save disk space. So uh, for this, I'm going to use the 4K multi-sub example video. And I like to show a short preview information. So there are multiple subtitles and just one audio stream. Note that the original stream did include uh, several audio streams as well, which increased the file size just as well. And I've made the um, the wrong assumption um, to the, uh, encode it uh, to MKV and not uh, using the video codec to be just copied. Instead, I was forcing it to use the H264 codec, which already was saving a lot of space. So the preview example file here used of being uh, 200 megabyte is a lot smaller than um, the actual an actual one minute 4K video would be, which is about one gigabyte per minute. However, um, I'd like to show you the main purpose of um, the script, which is to downcode it. So um, I'm going to use the preset quality in capital. So this is not only using the screen resolution uh, of full HD, but also the bit rates um, defined by uh, my script. Um, you see that in, in the help file, if you just, uh, in, in the help screen, if you just pass VHS-H, However, uh, I'm using capital capital Q full HD using the file demo 4K. I'm going to downcode it now to full HD screen. Now, meanwhile, I'm just changing back here. Meanwhile, um, I'm going to downcode it to clip uh, sides. Um, let me show just this one. So. While this one is encoding to full HD, so it will be using the screen resolution, using this audio bitrate and uh, 1536 kilobytes for the video stream, which will reach approximately uh, 150 megabytes. So, um, as I already said, meanwhile, I want to downcode it to a clip resolution, which is about, um, yeah, a lot smaller. Uh, the approximate file size will be 2.5 megabytes. Now just use VHD capital Q and saying clip using just the same file name, multi-sub MK file and encoding, downcoding this one as well. So on the other side, uh, downcoding it to full HD is now approximately one, now two, uh, 12 megabytes. You also see here the constant moving of the character indicating the process is doing so. As you see, I'm currently encoding two files, so um, the CPU is quite um, in charge. Now let's have a look at the MK file with a dot zero. So this was your original file. Let's just open it to see how it looks uh, on the first use. Now, my laptop being uh, not 4K capital, so um, VLC has to downcode it to full HD, telling it so. It uses slightly over uh, regular full HD content. So this is how it looks like in original. Now let's just compare it with uh, the multisop zero which is full ah! hd so you see the error message oh, of having to sorry. downcode it um, is gone and the quality looks uh, quite nice still the same and uh, by now also the clip should Look, be Celia. done let's just have, have a look at this passions. keep in mind for this one um, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. it would not be seen regularly at this width and height because uh, the clip screen would be for mobile phone use 
so it would be even smaller as um, this have to follow our area right here. You have your robotics. But um, this said, let's see at the file sizes. Awesome so you see space. here downcoded to full HD, the original 4K movie which was already downcoded uh, using the H264 codec. Um, was uh, 200 megabyte originally uh, from the source input 4k movie um, to be obtained by www.tearsofsteel.org provided by the Blender Foundation which uh, is a FOSS foundation free and open source code software um, they're doing a great job and I really want to thank them for providing such a great demonstration movie the original file to be downloaded from their website is uh, lasting um, somewhat between 12 to 30 minutes and has a file size of 14 gigabytes uh, by their tarball. Tar so um, you could say one minute is about one gigabyte. As already said, I, I've prepared those samples and this was already reducing the file size by yeah, you see 200 megabytes is, is the actual file size, so it's a lot smaller than the original file was. However, downcoded to full, um, regular full HD is now just 13 megabytes and even to the clip it's not even 3 megabytes. That is a perfect size for mobile phones which don't provide a, a great screen. Now if you do have a tablet, of course, you can just uh, downcode it, it to VHS, which is uh, VGA uh, resolution 640, uh, 640 to 480 uh, using a slightly uh, smaller audio uh, bitrate and um, a little bit more than the clip, but still quite few um, video bitrate. Now let's just do this also using uh, VHS and the demo 4K MK file. Now let's do this one as well. And after this, uh, we're already done. So um, just for the small little comparison, it's quite fast, um, especially with um, not changing the container. Um, you could pass a uh, dash E and using WebM for uh, a one time encoding to WebM format, which will be using the libfp uh, VP uh, codec. Um, for later use, I might be adding uh, the VP9 codec, which is still in development by Google uh, for the open source community. Thank you for that one. So you see now we've uh, encoded it to VHS, uh, which is uh, VGA, and this is the new file. And this quality also looks oh, I'm sorry. quite sorry. better than the clip one because it's about to double off the sides. But still, uh, using the full HD screen, it should be used um, with about um, this resolution Flexilia. and um, giving an approximate file size of 3 megabytes. We've actually reached uh, 3.6. This one's depending upon the scenes displayed uh, and several other things. The buffer I'm dynamically hard coded uh, for a range to be used depending upon the, um, the video bit rates. So usually the, the hardcoded min and maximum range of the buffer is the double of the video codec and the range uh, being just the precise um, co uh, bitrate used. Now you can also override those values by just passing a capital B which will be using the um, audio and video bitrates you uh, define in, within the configuration file but you can also write dynamically, uh, override them dynamically by using the small b and just telling the video codec by the v and then saying, um, so we have, uh, so we, we gotta make another one. So uh, v uh, 
for the VHS it's <clears throat> 385. Now let's say for 512 and just encode it again. And you also see the file name is generated dynamically increasing numbers. So uh, you have a simple way to compare each output uh, one after another. I've show you, uh, shown you in the um, audio extraction video how to use just a specific time frame that is great to make examples of your past arguments. Now this is already uh, 3.6 megabytes. Given the uh, bitrate, um, the dynamic bitrate here, um, I'm expecting the file to be about um, a little bit more than, than 4 megabyte. Now let's see, it's uh, 4.5 megabyte, and now let's see the new file. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm now let's sorry. just compare those sorry. two. saying this one to be on second 23 go here to 23 now you can compare the two space. make that back now let's just make this one pause and go back to the wrong one go back to the full HD resolution and Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I like just make sure. So going fourth oh, to sorry. thirty-two sorry. seconds. But so, so you have a comparison. This on the right side is the full HD, and on the left side is the VHS VGA. It's not too bad. A bit loud but um, that's about it this is how you simply can down code and save a lot of disk space you see here the uh, just compiled files are uh, between 2.8 megabytes up to 30 megabytes just of the exact um, duration like the original file which was 200 megabyte so you see the potential um, that is around to save disk space while maintaining about a good quality depending on the screen resolution now obviously for a mobile phone which um, this uh, clip encoding was of, of 2.8 megabyte is a lot smaller but the screen is a lot smaller and uh, you're moving usually when watching on a mobile phone so there is a compromise but um, I, I was always using as less disk space as possible so this is the way to go for me and um, I hope you do use the script for the same reason this said I wish you a nice weekend and I hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful to your questions have a nice weekend bye